In this video, we will discuss postmodernism. Like modernism, postmodernism follows same ideas, rejecting high and low forms of arts and rejecting rigid genre distinctions. And the emphasis is laid on parody, pastiche, brick collage, irony and playfulness. In parody, a literary or musical style of an author or work is closely imitated for comic effect or in ridicule. In pastiche, a work is created by deliberately copying the style of somebody or something else. And in brick collage, a work is constructed or created from a diverse range of things. Unlike modernism, postmodernism doesn't lament the idea of fragmentation and guides us to accept the reality that the word is meaningless. And we should not pretend that a literary text can make it meaningful. So enjoy nonsense too. Lyotard, a postmodern theorist, argues that modern societies maintain totality through the means of grand narratives or master narratives. For example, the United States tell other nations the story of democracy, that it is the most enlightened form of government and the democracy can only lead to universal human happiness. Marxism believes in the grand narrative that capitalism will collapse in on itself and a utopian socialist world will evolve. Postmodernism is a critique of grand narratives and argues that such grand narratives mask the contradictions and instabilities that are inherent in any social organization or practice. Postmodernism favors mini narratives, stories that explain small practices and local events. In postmodernism, there are only signifiers with no signifieds. Baudrillard, a postmodernist, argues that commodities, the things that you buy, are all signifiers. You are not buying things because you will use them or they give you pleasure. But the commodity means something beyond itself. For example, if you have a BMW car, it is a signifier of your social status, income, recreation habits and alike. So what is actually signified is your position as a subject. So selfhood is thus an alienated position, something defined by externals. In structuralism, the relationship between signifier and signified is arbitrary. However, Baudrillard argues that there are only signifiers with no signifieds. He calls this separation simulacrum, a representation without an original that it copies. Simulacrum is reality itself. Jalous and Guattari argue that tradition literature operates like tree structures. It has a beginning, a middle and an end. They want to throw out the model of tree and replace it with a model of fungus, a rhizome. In a rhizome there is no central point, no particular origin, no definitive structure no formative unity. Tree narratives make a statement to be what is, what becomes, what will be and what was. However, rhizomatic narratives offer strategies of deterritorialization. So no ending, no conclusion, the writing just stops. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching.